Popeyes, 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 Popeyes. Thank you lot for this food. Thank you lot so much for this food. Popeyes is gonna fill my belly. I woke up and I didn't eat so that I could eat this food today. Thank you lot so much, Jesus. Hello everyone, we are back. It is your boy Victor Kunda. I have missed you guys so, so much. Have you missed me? Have you? Have you? Right, I know you have. Let's get going. I am super excited because today I am going to be eating everything on the Popeyes UK menu. Yes, you heard it, you heard it. Popeyes is now in the UK. When I hear Popeyes, I just think American culture through and through. We've been hearing about Popeyes from childhood. There was that point during the pandemic where the Popeyes chicken sandwich. Wait, are we having that chicken sandwich today? Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. <sighs> Is the food here? So if you didn't know, Popeyes has over 3,000 locations and don't know why, but they decided to bring themselves to this ghetto place we call the UK. So I'm not gonna waste any more time. The food is here, it is smelling in my nose. Let's get into it. Mm. Ah, okay. This feels so soft. Guys, this food is smelling so sweet. Okay, we have the sauces. Mango habanero, garlic mayo, Mardi Gras mustard, bold barbecue. Okay, more mustard, right, okay. More garlic, okay. I think we just have the sauces all over again because look at the amount of food. At least they used their common sense and didn't just give you one sauce. That sounds quite familiar, doesn't it? <gasps> These are the biscuits. Oh my gosh. Like, y'all, I feel like I'm in America right now. Should I talk in this accent for the rest of the video? I think I might. Oh. Uh. This mac and cheese. Cajun gravy. Okay, these are the chips. Sorry, I have to. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, Popeyes. Mmm. 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 Guys, I love. I just love fried chicken so much. So because I'm a really nice person, I'm loving, I have such a huge heart. I think I might, I'll maybe leave like one box and one gravy for the rest of the people in the office. It's just so that they have something to eat today. Just one mac and cheese actually, that's all they deserve really. Mm. It's almost like the potato itself was seasoned. Seasoned BuzzFeed. Popeyes, 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 Popeyes. Thank you lot for this food. Thank you lot so much for this food. Popeyes is gonna fill my belly. I woke up and I didn't eat so that I could eat this food today. Thank you lot so much, Jesus. Okay, first of all, I think what we should do is have an ASMR of opening the sauces because it's just, I'm like slightly turned on by that. Okay, first of all, we're just gonna try some chips. If you don't eat your chips first, then what are you doing? Your chips are gonna be stale, they're gonna be cold, and you already know, you don't warm chips. Right. These chips have set the tone. Sorry to you guys that didn't have them for the Brits try. Clearly I'm special. So good. Mm-hmm. If I had a couple glasses of wine, this is me set for the night. For the whole night. Okay, I'm scared to try mustard, but I'm just gonna do it. Okay. Right, actually, 
you know, it may not taste the same with chips, the same way it might taste with the chicken, or the same way it might taste with this sandwich, which I am containing myself so much from screaming this place down. Because during that pandemic, I'm seeing everyone in America trying the Popeye's chicken sandwich. And I was just like, when are they coming over here to the UK? And look, so I'm gonna bring the mustard back. These chips are all good. Okay, mango habanero, sweet and spicy. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. To be honest, this is almost just like sweet chili. Popeyes, they thought they had us fooled. This is just sweet chili, babe. What you thought putting fruit and a different kind of spice together isn't sweet chili? You, th you thought because we were in the UK, you could spice up the name of sweet chili? Right. We're not as silly as you think we are. Even though we voted to leave, we're not as silly as you think we are. Okay, this mac and cheese looks... It's definitely looking like mac. So I'm just gonna give this a try. This one is not my cup of tea. Actually, as I eat more. <laughs> I literally hate this. I literally hate this. This is like, yeah, it's a no for me. This is good. This is good. Wow, that's good. My meals always need like a bit of spice. Whether I'm sprinkling chili flakes on top, whether I'm grating black pepper on top, whether I'm literally just like cutting raw scotch bonnets and putting them on top. Oh, this Cajun gravy. These are scones. I, I feel like I'm not allowed to say that. American people are like, it's biscuits. And we're like, scones? We have them with jam and cream, but I'm about to dip a scone in gravy. You know what? I like this. This is a scone. Yeah, the thought of dipping a scone in gravy right now is kind of weirding me out, but... I don't really like it, I don't know. Yeah, I actually don't like this gravy. <laughs> Guys, I don't like this gravy. Okay. By the time it probably mixes with the flavor of the chicken, I think I'm gonna love this gravy. I think the reason why I'm so critical of this gravy is because in the UK, gravy is a serious thing. Gravy has been that girl with a roast, with some mashed potatoes and some sausages. We bloody have chips and gravy. And if you've had that, oh, I, I was always hearing, oh, chips and gravy, chips and gravy. The day I tried it, I said, chips and gravy, right? Okay, I'm making a mess here. When I go back to Popeyes after this, because girl, I know I will be, I'm going to be getting those chips. I think these chips are Cajun as well, now that I think about it. Mm. The biscuit, you, you were great. Let's do the strips straight off the bat. The outside is crispy. Do you know what I love Yeah, There are some areas where like the flour just like accumulated and kind of just like built an antenna and it's just like pure crisp. Okay, let's try this. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. Now this is a mother <laughs> chicken strip. First of all, it's real chicken. It now makes sense why they called it bald barbecue. Like this barbecue flavor is like so, 
just like strong and smoky, but sweet. Mmm, yes, we love it. Mayo, or barbecue, or mango habanero. Sweet chili. Let's move on. Okay, I want to try some chicken pieces. Straight off the bat, nice golden, golden brown. Let's try it plain, and then we'll take it through our sauce bank. Mmm. Generally, like, what did we do to deserve this in the UK? We don't deserve this privilege. Let's dip it in our mango habanero. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That crunch. Basically, anything I dip this in, I will like. Because sometimes a sauce can save an entire dish. I'm not sure if you guys want to see me finish this chicken because you may not look at me the same. So I'm just going to be like really polite about it. Oh, there's a couple hairs on here. That means it's a real chicken, guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm savoring every last piece that I can, even though there is a whole box here. I'm taking this home. Chicken, amazing. Okay, I'm going to try, I'm going to try a thigh. Thighs are the juiciest cut. If you ever step to me with a side breast, I will literally like vomit on your shoes. Like, come on, tell me that. Like, it's not like sensual to you. The crunch is serious on that one. Mm hmm. I'm gonna pour that on. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yo. Mmm. Chicken thigh. Amazing. You know sometimes where you're just like, child, let me peel the skin. And then you kind of like make like a skin wrap. In fact, I'm gonna make a skin wrap for you guys. How to make a skin wrap. You have your skin tortilla. You place your chips on one end. You pour your mango habanero slash sweet chili slash just like funky sauce and you begin to roll. Mm-hmm. 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 There you have a skin wrap. What do we do? Usually I would be dipping it into some mayo. However, this garlic mayo is not the one for me. Not the one for me. So what I'm going to do is actually dip it into some barbecue. Skin wrap. Mm. You guys should definitely trust my food judgment by now. This is like the third one we're on. This thigh is like, ah! Uh, side breast, you have like, you have nothing to offer this world, except for gym lads that like, you know, completely dry chicken breast. All for the sake of having muscles, like, okay, big man. I probably look like such a mess. <laughs> so before I give you a sensual ASMR of me gulping this water, I just want to say we have put drinks time with Victor on hold. But I'm hoping that they bring their nice spicy collection of drinks over from America. The same way you brought your nice recipe, you can bring the syrup. Okay. Mm.
Tell me that didn't turn you on. Next, we are trying the hot wings. Hot wings are an extremely debatable topic. And I think this is a topic that needs a class action lawsuit. Drums or flats? For me personally, I choose the drums, which is why I feel the flats need a class action because they have been treated so unfairly by me and my family. The wing is very much looking like a <laughs> wing to me, but I have so much faith in Popeyes. Anyway, let's go. I like chicken thighs, but I love hot wings. This wing is absolutely phenomenal. The ratio of batter to meat is amazing. I can name a few fast food places that do not have that on lock. Yeah? You know what? I'm going to try a flat, just because I feel like we should give them a chance just for today. But I just need to speak to the flat quickly. Just thought I'd let you know that outside of this, I would not give you any time of day. Okay? So just smile for the camera and do what you came here to do. Because there's nothing for you after today. Right, so I'm gonna try a flat. <laughs> Sometimes you need to jiggle it so that it can like, okay. I love her. She's so amazing. <laughs> mm. I told you there is nothing for you after this, okay? Don't get too excited because you're on camera. So those are the wings. Popeyes, I'm just like in utter shock right now. Okay guys, now it's time for the final act, the chicken sandwich. I'm gonna let her introduce herself, okay? but I think first the space needs to be cleared. Guys, the infamous chicken sandwich. You know what, let's... She's gonna introduce herself. You know what? I love burgers where the bread ends up like this. Like it low-key, like the bread just goes, ah! I'm not sure what sauce this is, but it's probably nice. We have a chicken fillet, and then we have our gherkins on the bottom. Chicken sandwich, chicken sandwich, chicken sandwich. Okay. Go for a walk. All I can say is this burger is like balanced. This burger is so balanced. The bread is nice and thin. Whatever sauce this is that's in there, yeah. Yeah. You're doing exactly what you need to do. And then the gherkins on the bottom, it adds that like tang. That tang and then just that injection of, you know, veg. We're now gonna try it with our sauces. First off with my favorite, I can't believe I'm gonna be separated from you. Just spend a moment with me. This has been a journey. Um, we've laughed, we've cried. You know, we, we, we've doubted you and said that, you know, you were sweet chili when in fact, as you've aged on my tongue, the mango is coming through. Which is why I want to ask, would you spend the rest of your life with me? No, okay. Right. Mmm. Everything tastes better when it's like slightly spicy, if it has a kick. This with that? 
That is amazing. Oh my God. I have one chicken sandwich in my hand. The one of you to get this chicken sandwich will be Popeye's next top sauce. Mardi Gras mustard. You scored highly this week. However, we feel like we could have seen a different side to you for this week's challenge. Unfortunately, you will not be Popeye's next top sauce. Oh my God, Tara, thank you so much for this opportunity. Okay, thank you. Garlic mayo. You were the lowest scoring this week. You will not be in the running of becoming Popeye's next top sauce. You may pack your things and leave. Two beautiful sources stand before me. One of those sauces really showed up this week after being doubted for who they are for so long. Mango habanero, you are Popeye's next top sauce. Come here, yes, well done. You are signing a contract for three years to just be an amazing ass person. Thank you for being who you are. Barbecue sauce, thank you too. You just didn't win. I'm gonna mix the both. I don't know why. <laughs> mm. Why did I not do this all along? Well, we have reached the end of yet another beautiful journey that will have me slumped in bed for the whole day tomorrow, even though I do have work to do. So, BuzzFeed and Popeyes, thank you so, so much. This was so much fun. Guys, I'm so happy that we did this again. If you want to see more, just let us know in the comments. 